Yeah, of course. Um, I am from France as a first. So I did most of my other studies in, back in France. So when I graduated from high school, I did an au pair year in England. Uh, then I came back and I studied economics for two years because I did not really know what to do, basically. Um, but during those two years, I had the opportunity to go and do Erasmus in Spain, which was very nice, but I didn't stay very long, unfortunately, um, because I arrived beginning of 2020 and then the COVID happened. So I was, I had to go back home in the south of France, but that was a very good experience. Um, and then there was also like one year of me doing basically not a lot of things, but I I did a third year of study then in tourism and sustainability. So that's how I started to know that I wanted to go a bit more into the sustainable aspect and what I can do for um, improving the, the health of the planet the way I can on my own. Um, and through this third year of study, I did an internship in Sweden in an eco village. So that was definitely what opened myself up on um, and like put my, opened my path on what I wanted to do, even though it was still blurry and I was not sure about where I wanted to go and how and all those things. But um, I went for two weeks in Canada, and that's where I got to know about the study I'm doing here now in Iceland. And when I saw about this place, I was like, yes, I'm going to go in Isafjordur in the west of Iceland. And that's the place I want to be. Um, and yeah, really, as soon as I, I saw the master program of the, of the U University of the West Fjord, I was like, yes. This is it. So I got into huge motivation to come here. Um, I I went on a seasonal job in Switzerland to like have some money to be able to come here, and I did all my application and everything. So yeah, that was that was the the big like improvement for my career and my my choices in life. And about like my interest, I would say like I've lived by the sea my whole life, so I couldn't imagine myself without it. And um, yeah, the, the ocean is crucial for the state uh, of the planet and the health of its inhabitants. And yeah, like I I feel like I was. I was seeing the, the effect that uh, we were doing on the on the ocean on the ocean already, and I really wanted to be able to do something. So I scuba dive since I'm six years old. Uh, I surf, I free dive, um, I do a lot of sports related to the ocean and the water in general. And so when I finally found out about what really mattered for me and how I could make a change on the um, on the planet with the the program as i was saying um i was i was stoked to like just go for it and come here so the university center of the west Fjord, how it's called it's a environment very uh, with uh, very friendly people that are here for you it's a small community in this university we're around 30 to 40s, um, and we are in a building with other companies like the Marine and Freshwater Institute. So um, it's very small, so it it allows for a lot of deep um, relation with the others, and there's a sense of belonging that's extraordinary. So yeah, as I was saying, I, I met a lot of amazing people, and we are about 30 students in the CMM program the one that I'm doing, about 10 in the coastal and regional development program. Um, so yeah, it's it's quite small, but I, I like it that way. And also 
it allows for people that are really sharing your interests and your values. Um, so that's that's very nice. Um, uh, the classes here are from nine to twelve, so you have plenty of time to study. And of course, if you also need to work, it's pretty easy to find something here. Um, and as I was saying, this time is very precious because you will be able to build new relationships with the others. Uh, and I personally had an injury and I know that um, now I'm getting better and everything is okay. But those people are going to become a new family because there's no one here. There's no one else. Um, and I can assure you that you will need that in the dark time of winter. Because here in Iceland, um, there is in December sometimes only three hours of light, but it's not even straight um, sun. It's just the sky is a bit blue. Um, but yeah, about to go back to the university center, well, everyone is super helpful and friendly. Uh, and there isn't one single time you could possibly feel like uh, you're alone and unsupported as soon as you're reaching out to people. So I would say that um, the thing you need to remember the most about this place is that if you think that this could be a problem for you, there's nothing to worry about. So, well, the social life in here, so the town where I live is around 2,800 inhabitants. It is so pure that the sense of belonging uh, is like incredible in this community. So it's not a lot of people and also not a lot of young people. So basically um, you will mostly hang out with the students that you're with, but there is also the second year and some are staying here uh, in town for their thesis. So you also have other connection, but most of the second years go abroad. Um, but here in Isafia, there, there is so much to do because it's so close to nature. Like I was saying um, of my interest with coastal uh, activities, you can hear surf, you can snowboard, you can also like go uh, cold bathing, um, hike, kayak. Um, there is plenty of things to do either on yourself or with a group of others. Um, so yeah, all the sports that uh, you can do. I w yeah, there is also, Sailing, we went whale watching as part of a field trip in one of our classes. Um, so, yeah, I think this is one of the best place I could have chosen for a new experience in my life, and I really don't regret it. Um, but if I could have had a little bit really about the social aspects, here in town, there's like well, there's like three places to hang out that are considered like bar or restaurants that serve um, or create events. And here, you, what you do is on the Wednesday, there is pop quiz. So that's what usually the people do on the Wednesday. Then in the student housing, we've been kind of putting it place in place um, Fish Friday. So it's like a gathering with everyone and everyone cooks something and it's very nice. It's just like a meal to be all together, the students together. Um, and what else do happen every week? Well, there is on Tuesday, there is Pizza Tuesday, which is like a, in a restaurant, the deal of one pizza for nothing. And that's what happens basically every week. So we have like some kind of events that we can look forward to, to keep the relationship between each other.
So for my second year, I will have to have an ID that doesn't need to be definitive, an ID of where and what I want to do for my thesis. So on mid-April, but I can take a little bit more of time to decide myself. Um, but basically here in this university, you don't have to stay for the second year. You can go abroad to do your research um, and, for example, come back to write it down or even just come back for graduation or, or also not come back. You're completely free, but for the second year, you're still entitled to the university. You will have an advisor um, and also a session on how your thesis is going. But um, for me personally right now, I don't know if I'm sure that I'll stay in Iceland. Although um, I do feel like doing my research abroad and coming back to write it down would be a very good opportunity because as I was kind of not able to do anything for a few months because of my injury, I feel like it would give me some extra time to discover this place because it's a place where you can do so many things and it's changing every week. The environment, the landscape, it's very moving and very um, beautiful environment. Um, about the places I would like to do my thesis, it's like anywhere. I have maybe some ID, no, not some ID, but some projects I could go uh, in, I could join, sorry, in Rostock in Germany about uh, plankton and marine protected areas. But personally, the topic that's very interesting me, and I'm actually just contacting people to see if there is opportunity about that, is the topic of deep sea mining, which is uh, something that is harmful uh, for the environment, but also for all humanity on Earth, because if it's allowed, then um, very bad complications are going to appear on Earth because of the... Um, carbon sink that's in the deep sea. So deep sea, it's about 3,000 to more meters down below the surface. Yeah, so I'm looking at it, but yeah, I have no plan yet and I will see how it goes. I'm flexible to be honest. And I must say that Iceland and the West Rhode are not, I mean, they're similar, but they're also very different. So I think I could relate for the West Rhode only. But what I would say is like, do it. It's so much worth it. Um, as I've already had a lot of experiences uh, outside this uh, country, but this one is breathtaking and it feels literally like another planet. Um, and also about all the things that I mentioned before, the sense of belonging, the natural landscape, like, yeah, for me, it's a really, really good place to have another experience and to, yeah, kind of put the feet already into the um, protection of the ocean because I was not doing anything about it before, to be fair. Um, when I say not anything about it, I mean on the professional aspect. Um, so yeah, I arrived in August, last August, uh, and I must say that every week is very different here. The climate can be quite harsh in winter. Um, so you need to know that beforehand, but it's part of the experience. And then it's so much worth it when you get to experience the, the sun coming back and giving a bit more light every day. Um, so yeah, the, the landscape changing is very fast, but it's amazing. Like you can take the same road one day to the other and one day all the leaves are going to be green and the second day they are going to be red. Like, I don't know how to explain, but it's like breathtaking as I was saying before, it's beautiful. Um, be ready to have the best time of your life and that's it. <laughs>